I remember time that I wish that I could forget. Yet it's etched in my brain like stone. Sometimes I sit alone thinking I wonder how many abortions have the women I slept with in my past had because of me. I just feel like today at East West University was the day for me to tell my story because for years I kept it hidden deep down inside of me. It's time for me to let it go now. I wanna be free. I can't say that I don't recall every one, but I remember the first. I was 15 years past birth and I was in love with Pumpkin. A 14 year old freshman from Simeon High School thought that I knew it all, thought that I was cool, but the Bible says, professing themselves wise, they became fools. So I began breaking rules, ditching school and cutting class, all in an attempt to get some Let's go. aspirations to become a rap star. <laughs> Your boy was well known to be cold with them bars while my heart hadn't been locked up, stuck in a standstill. I couldn't see past this girl. She was like the center of my world and everything revolved around her. I had never felt like this before. I was even cool with her parents who for me kept an open door that was all before she was late. And I ain't talking about lunch. I'm talking about no visitors this month. Mm. And now we both scared. Wondering what would our parents think. They are the ones who really cared about us and our future. We literally ripped their dreams apart and this can be mended with no suture. But we gotta tell somebody. We didn't know what to do. We were only babies ourselves doing what grown folks do without a clue of the consequence. And so we have to deal with the consequence of sex with no protection. And it's too late for me to pull myself out of this one because now she's expecting. Let's get it. And I'm expecting her dad to kill me on sight. My father always taught me to do what's right, but now that I'm on center stage, somehow I've gotten stage fright. So we talked and she asked, what was I thinking? And without even blinking, I said, baby, I'm not ready to be a father. And see, for her, this only made things harder. So she told her mom who forced her to get an abortion. And along with my coercion, I can only imagine the pressure at 14 that she must have been under. I was too young to know the procedure. I didn't even care. Only wish that she would have made me be there. Maybe I needed it. See, things don't register the same unless you see it, and then you can believe it. And now she's left with the permanent scar from a decision that we both made. But she's the only one who paid. Or at least that was what I thought. So you can run from a situation, but sooner or later, your ass gonna get caught. I felt like it was all my fault. And over 20 years later, my child that was aborted when I was at the age of 15 has now come back to haunt me. My firstborn at the age of 15 was taken away from me. He died from cancer. I was too young to know the physical pain of an abortion, but now I know the answer. It's clear now. Come on. I see the picture. And it takes me back to that same scripture. Come on. Professing themselves wise, they became fools. So East West University students, I'm telling y'all, please stay in school, learn from my mistakes. Don't wait until it's too late. I apologize. I'm sorry. I wish that I could go back, change and rearrange things. If you only knew the consequences that choices and decisions bring. See y'all at the time, I was only 15. And I remember a time that I wish that I could forget. It is etched in my brain like stone. Sometimes I just sit alone thinking I wonder how many abortions have the women I slept with in my past had because of me. Come on, Black. I just felt like today, East West University was the day for me to tell my story. Because for years, I kept it hidden deep down inside of me. It's time for me to let it go now. I want to be free. That's that piece.